Hi, I'm Melvin Way, and I'm going to start a mini-series on growing tomatoes. So this is the Bush Early Girl Tomato, and I bought this special packet. It's a little more expensive than just plain seeds, but you know, it's sized for a smaller pot. I have a larger pot, which is always good for more root growth. But basically it has a ready-to-plant container garden disc. So there should be a soft disc inside that's porous. It's probably got seeds and other things, um, substances that will help it grow and germinate. So basically I just put that in, put a little dirt over it and water it and it should germinate all 20 seeds. It says there are 20 seeds in here, you know, within a few days. So I'm going to use this self-watering plant spa pot design. It's a 15 inch diameter pot, you know, um, you know the seed disc only recommends a 10 inch pot but you know bigger is always better when it comes to soil volume and surface area on the top and this is basically 31.8 centimeters in diameter it's a fairly robust pot you know it's all plastic construction but basically after the first week you know I'll start watering from the bottom which means I'll fill this tray so the way this works is water will seep in through these four holes mostly and some other small holes next to these plastic bolts and that'll soak the soil here from the bottom and it'll soak and go all the way up through capillary action through the surface tension of the water itself between all those uh, soil particulates and these slits here are for proper soil aeration to make sure uh, you can have gaseous exchange because if you don't and roots are just soaking in water or 100% humidity all the time with no access to you know fresh oxygen they're just gonna rot away okay so now I'm gonna fill this up with some potting mix that has a fertilizer already pre-mixed in it's good for nine months and then I'll lay out the disc and start watering after I covered it with like maybe one eighth of an inch of soil according to the directions Okay, it's day six of this bush early girl tomato plant germination experiment. So I took the easy way this time. I bought one of those membranous discs. It's sort of paper in nature. And it has 20 evenly spaced seeds in a circular fashion. So this is what a tomato seedling looks like. And they're still very tiny at this stage. Here's another one. Here's another one. Apparently they're not all spaced optimally. Those are kind of close together. Here's an example of a seed that hasn't sprouted its cotyledons yet. It still has a seed husk on. This is very obviously a dicotyledonous plant, meaning it has two starter leaves or cotyledons that come out of the seed. And all angiosperms, flowering plants, are either monocots or dicots. It's an important classification. So it also has this kind of purple fuzz to its stems. I think it's a little bit more obvious in this case. Um, if you look at all the stems, you know you can pretty much tell what the deal is. And if you're thinking this kind of bears a resemblance to sacred datura, which I have a video of and talked about. Uh, recently in my Santa Margarita River Trail hiking video. Basically that means it's a member of the nightshade family. So nightshades, 
can be poisonous, but this is a domesticated species that is not. So this is right on cue. I think it's a little earlier than I expected. You know, it's only been six days. So far I'm counting only nine plants out of possible 20. And I think I read somewhere on the bag or in the description that these are all guaranteed to germinate. So I expect to see all 20. Um, but you know, in reality, often some don't germinate for whatever reason. I don't see how they could possibly guarantee something like that. Maybe I just read wrong, but you can see this whiteness here. That's because I watered a lot and there's probably not a lot of water if much at all on the surface anymore because the sun gets really hot here in June and during the day on my balcony so imagine all the water in that membranous disc has likely evaporated so I'm gonna water again just to make sure you know the seedlings or the seeds that haven't germinated and have the chance to do so and the reason you can see some of that disc exposed in the white here is because uh, instructions say only to cover with one eighth of an inch of soil which isn't a lot at all so when you water things shift around and that's what happens so now I'm gonna do some watering okay so here's a recap of what the package says uh, you know 20 seeds in that disc they're guaranteed to grow so my interpretation is that I'm gonna get 20 plants you know size for a 10 inch pot it's good. I have a lot more soil. More soil is always better for thermal regulation and you know, water regulation to prevent ev evaporation and also just to make sure there's enough space for roots to grow. You know, it doesn't really say how long it takes for these things to germinate. So be it. You know, it's like six days. Okay, so I'm gonna gently try to water a little bit more. Kind of hold. It's kind of hard to do all this without causing huge disturbance in the soil. I have a large volume of water, and also I have to hold on to a camera at the same time and talk. So I think I exposed some emerging seedlings. Let's take a closer look. I'm not sure if this is a case where I just exposed a seedling by washing away some soil. I think it is. Well, it doesn't look like I knocked anything over. As long as these things can stand back up on their roots, so to speak, I'll be happy. And here's another case where washing away some soil revealed something. So you can see two seedlings here. The top one's more inconspicuous, but uh, that just kind of showed up too. And it seems like we've got a lot more than the nine or so I just counted. So now I'm counting 13 plants. That's four more than I had before I watered. So I think the watering helped loosen things up a bit. But things look pretty promising, and we'll see how fast these things grow over the next few days. So I'm going to do a count again. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's actually two there. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, that's one right there. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen right next to it. And we have fourteen right there. And I see 15 over there. You know, it's just a little loop in the soil. So, you know, some of these have a little more trouble shooting out and getting rid of their seed husk. But um, that's 15 out of 20 already. Actually, I see a 16th one here. So, that's pretty good, you know. I'm sure I overlooked some. Um, you know, I can't really see where, but yeah. That's 80% germination already. Okay, it's day 10 of this Bush Early Girl tomato germination experiment. So as you can see, the seedlings are a lot more visible now. Um, they are all in the stage of having just two cotyledons. I can see 
the first sets of true leaves coming out of their shoot ape called marrow stems. And I'll zoom in on that later, but first I just want to do kind of a head count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, here's one right here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So, did I miss anything? I think I missed this one. 21. So let me try counting that again real quick off camera. Okay, so I'm counting 21 again. And that seems to be right. You know, for businesses, uh, reagent suppliers, things like that, they always want to give you a little bit more rather than a little bit less because that's an easy way you can uh, anger your customers is to give them less than promised. So, on the package it says 20 seeds guaranteed to Germany and here we have 21 and they all seem to be doing fine I would say they've done a great job on their guarantee so for four US dollars in 2013 this company Barry Morse uh, I'd say they've done a pretty good job uh, it's not the cheapest of course but you know this is a pretty effective device I mean it worked it did exactly what they said it would so some of these areas are a little threadbare in terms of the dirt that's covering them. That's because of shifting around during watering. And I'm going to basically try to add on a little bit more dirt. You know, I don't know if this thing is going to disintegrate this white mesh uh, that's soft and obviously water permeable that these seeds came entrapped in. But I assume it'll kind of decompose away. Maybe I don't need to do anything. Um, I'll just water again, you know, it seems like it's really hot and dry these days. It's June in San Diego. So this is the prime spot for a sun to strike in the mid-afternoon, and it's going to get pretty hot soon. So I definitely want to make sure these are hydrated, because if I were watering from the bottom of the plant spot tray, you know, like over here, um, that's a lot of dirt it has to get through just to be able to barely hydrate the tips of the root systems here. These are all seedlings, so they have very, very shallow roots at this point. So I want to make sure they get a good start. And after they're more developed, we can just water from the bottom as normally. So what we're looking at here in the center is a shoot ape called Meristem. You can see uh, true leaves coming out. You now tomato leaves are kind of serrated based on what I've seen, so that kind of explains, you know, the little teeth on the edges of these new leaves that are coming out you know I think basically true leaves one and two are on their way out and these are still very small the cotyledons but I have no doubt they'll get a lot bigger to support the rapid growth of this tomato plant there are still some seedlings that are kinda of struggling to break free of their seed husks so I just watered sparingly on the top enough to get all the roots wet and that's all I really need. So I don't want to water with a flood of water and risk overturning any of these seedlings. Although I think they're fairly safely embedded in that kind of gauze mesh that they came in. So we'll see what happens after a few days. 